On today's video, we're looking at the 3D title effect in Filmora 12. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up everyone? Aaron here. Thanks for coming by and checking out another video. I really do appreciate you spending your time with me here on YouTube. And again, this is going to be another short video, five to seven minutes maybe, because I want you to learn how I'm using this and use it in your own videos and really be able to get you creating content a lot faster. So let's jump on the computer, take a look at how easy this is, and then let me know in the comments below how you're going to incorporate it in your next video. All right. So if you don't have Filmora 12 already, make sure you use the links down below to get it for Mac or PC. And then once you've downloaded it, installed, and you fired up, this is the first screen you're going to see. We're going to click on new project. Then this is what's gonna pop up. This is gonna be your main area where you're gonna be doing all your work. Now, if you're new to Filmora, as always, I'm gonna show you how to import stuff fairly easily. You can either click here to import to library and you can select where you wanna import it from. But for me, I'm just gonna click right on the envelope here and pull in this stock footage. Now, you can also drag and drop if you have a window open with the, the file folder open with all of your uh, uh, images or clips or you know your video that you're going to be editing. So like I said today we're going to be looking at how to do the new 3D text and they've added a bunch to it so it's really kind of cool makes things again super easy and the goal for me when picking a software or doing something is I want to limit my time editing so I can make more content. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take and drag our clip into the first line here and then we're going to go over to titles and titles you're going to see here 3d titles and these are all the different ones that you can scroll through and, and take a look and use but we're just going to go with the retro one here so all we're going to do is take that and drag it right down to the timeline right above it wherever we want this text to come in so we could have it come in right there and again you're just going to move your playhead to kind of see where this 3d text is now Obviously, we don't want it to say retro. We want it to say something else. So we're just going to double click on that. And it's going to bring up your screen here to do your editing. So maybe we're going to make this say winter. All right. And now we have all these different options here that we can pick from. So let's do something that's a little Christmassy. So just by clicking on it, it's automatically going to change it. Now I can change the size. I can drag here and make it bigger, smaller, however you want. But then if I want to, I can go into animation. And then animation is going to give you a bunch of different ways for how and or how it comes in and how it looks. So if I want to have something like this, I just click on it. It's going to show me a preview. Or maybe I want something where it's, you know, flying and rotating. Or I could do a twist like that. There's different aspects here. And then you can also do it for animation out. You can set the duration of time for the animation, or you don't have to do any animation at all. Um, but let's say we want something like this here, you know, something simple. So when we watch the video, that's what it's going to do. That's kind of a little bit boring. So I'm going to go back to the flying in and then move my playhead back, hit play just to preview it. And now I see how it's going to come in. Now I want it a little bit bigger than that. So I'm going to click back up into this preview window. And I'm going to make it bigger and I'm going to drag it over to where I want it. Now you see how it gives me those four boxes that tells me that it's right dead center in the, uh, the screenshot. So now I'm going to bring this playhead back, take a look at it again. Okay. I like that. I think the size looks good. Now, if I really wanted to get in and change anything else, I could go into the advanced tab and there's more things you can do with it here. We're not going to get into that into this video today as far as customization and color and everything like that. Um, we're just going to cancel out of that. But this is where you can make a lot of your changes. And then if you go back to the 3D basics, you can then change the, um, the material uh, as far as what it looks like. So maybe I want to just do the red and with the the blur edges, I guess is the best way to put it, or maybe I want to do this one here. And if you don't have it yet, when you click on it, it'll just start to download it. So I kind of like that one. And I, you know, you can change the scale, the position, rotation. I like to just drag and drop it right over here or drag it around right on the screen so I can see exactly what I'm doing. Then all I do is hit okay. And now I've got that 3D 
text right in the center. So maybe I'm using that as an opening for my video. Maybe I'm using it at the end and I wanna say end, goodbye, what have you. And then again, you can make it as long or short as you want. And then when you're gonna to go to export, you're just gonna come right up here to the export button, click down, there we go. And you could say local device, YouTube, TikTok, Vimeo, DVD. If you're doing like a podcast, you can always come down here to do the MP3, but we're just gonna do the MP4. And we're gonna change this to winter. And it's gonna have the location of where we're gonna move everything, go to. We can do default, preset. I want it to go up to uh, a higher quality. Uh, you can change the frame rates here if you haven't already done it, what have you. Um, stereo, we're gonna do 5.1 surround sound. Not that there's any audio with it. If there was, you would have it. You can upload it to the cloud. You can also do auto highlights. I don't use either of these. And then all I'm gonna do is hit export and it's gonna start exporting the video for me and then it's gonna give me a sound when it's done. So that is how the titles are used. It's definitely a cool feature. Um, it allows, again, you to be able to edit faster. So now I don't have to create this. There's already these presets there and there's a bunch of them. So, oh, look, there's a winter one. I should have just used that. So I could have just pulled that one down right here and had one that actually just said winter. Actually, that's kind of cool too. So again, if I was in a time crunch or I'm trying to produce a lot of content, the presets and the stuff that they've put in Filmora 12 are definitely going to help you um, limit your time editing. So Let's jump off the computer. So as you can see, Filmora 12 makes it super easy to add in cool titles and effects like that using the 3D tool. And again, my goal is to limit my time sitting in front of the computer. You've heard me say this before, and this is one of those options that allows me to do that. So now I can put this in the beginning of my video. I could you know, motion track it to something. There's a bunch of different things you can do with it, but just understanding how the basics of it work is really how to get your feet wet and get you going with uh, creating content. So thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.